Hi everyone, this is Bobby Laporte in San Francisco. Over the last week, I've heard from so many leaders who are challenged managing themselves and their teams through the coronavirus crisis. There is no doubt, this is one of the most challenging times in recent memory across all the domains of our lives. It is definitely uncharted territory for all of us. As one of my clients said this week, talk about a curveball. So I made this short video to provide a couple of tips and ideas to help get you, you and your team through these times. And please feel free to share this and pass this along to others. We all need to be supporting and helping each other right now. Tip number one, our brains do not like uncertainty. They want to be in a toward state with some direction and promise, if not certainty. So consider sharing or connecting your teams to your long-term goals and objectives so they have some future-facing perspective. And also by connecting them to the shared goals of the team, that provides a little bit of certainty and also helps them to feel more related to their teammates while so many of us are isolated. Tip number two, if you and your team are not used to working remotely, consider how you're delegating work to your team. So talk to them about the, the guidelines to working remotely. So what does that mean? Where, when, how, and that may be different for different people on your team. Ask them if they need support, make sure they have the resources to be successful, and then let them deliver. This is not the time to be overloading people with work because you're not sure if they're gonna be productive remotely because it just adds anxiety to the situation. And tip number three, consider starting your regular staff meetings or updates with a positive action. So that means asking people to share a success or something good that's happened to them since the last time you met. It's really important now that we share successes and we share the good things that are going on around us during these challenging times. It lifts everybody up. And we also know from neuroscience that taking a positive action, arousing positive emotions in others actually builds capacity and resilience for the long term. So it acts like nutrients that you can draw on when you're not feeling so positive and things aren't going so well. And most importantly of all, take care of yourself. So I hope this was helpful. I will be posting some additional tips over the next week or so on LinkedIn. So be sure to follow me there. And in the meantime, Take care.